let us talk about the freaking fish. What's up, Blue Reefers? It's your girl, Blue Damsel. Welcome back to another video, guys. So I got the light in the tank. There's a light, guys, and it's perfect. So it actually fills up the entire tank based on the size measurement. So this one's actually good for 18 to 24 inch tanks. This tank is 20 inches long. So as you see, the light covers up pretty much the entire tank, which is awesome. So it fits perfectly in that slot. It's black, obviously, so it matches the rim of the tank and the lid. When you look at it from this angle, you can see it just kind of blends in with the rest of the tank. We'll discuss lighting in depth in another video. This is Blue Damsel in the future, spoiler alert. I get someone with a par meter to come out and test the lights and stuff, so we'll discuss that in a later video. I move the rock around. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the rock. I'm gonna move it forward because right now it's actually right up against the back glass. Well, let's get our hands wet, let's do it. I stirred up all kinds of trouble, but I think that looks pretty good. And we'll just wait for it to clear up and see what it looks like. Got that ready for the fish, because it was time to get some fish in the tank. Let's talk about the fish though. If you've watched my channel before, you'd know what my all-time favorite fish is. Nano fish, at least. And that is the elongate dotty back. This fish is so hard to find. I like having different things in my tank, things that no one else has or has probably seen before for things that are more rare. I like different things. Things that when you look in the tank, you're like, ooh, what is that? Tell me about that. That's great, never seen that before. Searched everywhere, could not find the fish. Normally Live Aquaria has it, they do not have it. So I ended up finding a place online finally that did have it, I ordered it. Paid the $30, $35 shipping for the fish. I also paid extra for a guarantee that the fish would live for like five days or something like that. Super excited it was supposed to come in and then like the day before or the day of that I was supposed to get it I get a text saying that the fish did not pass inspection. I don't know. So I call them It failed inspection, uh, which means that it just doesn't meet like our quality standard. That's what we'd like to Our standard of quality rather. Can you tell me like what what the potentially the wrong with it though? Uh, unfortunately, I don't get the uh, specifics as to why it failed, um, mm -hmm. just you know, a list of what did fail and what didn't. They weren't able to give me like a detailed answer or reason why the fish didn't pass inspection. Usually when it's like this, it should be about a week, um, so we should be able to ship it out early next week. They told me, you know, normally it takes about another week or so. Do you want to wait for the fish? I'm like, heck yeah, I want to wait for the fish. So I waited the week, nothing happened. Ghost town, didn't hear from these people. So I ended up canceling the order because on top of that, I thought, well, if they weren't able to replace the fish, that means that they don't have another one. And if there was something wrong with that fish that he didn't pass the inspection the first time and they're being all kinds of vague about it, I don't want that fish. I don't want a sickly fish. So no elongate dotty back in my tank, at least not for now. So I went on a hunt. I went to all my local fish stores, every single last one of them, hunting for a fish just to kind of see what they have. Look how big that puffer is. That puffer is They have a spooky Halloween theme tank. I love it. Where they've just got orange and black clownfish. Of course, I ended up with two clownfish and an orchid dotty back. Good looking pair of bullet hole snowflake clownfish. Love them. They look great. Then I got the orchid dotty back back there. Since clownfish are known to be semi-aggressive, I said, why not put an orchid in there with them? Why not? Always test your water whenever you get your water back from the uh, from your local fish store because you never know what you're getting. So I always test it to see where they're keeping their salinity at and it's zero. They gave me RO water. I asked for three gallons of salt and they gave me RO. Look at this, you see this? They even charged me for salt. Premium salt water per gallon. Three gallons. Dip these guys in some Hydroplex.
While I'm waiting for them to finish with their dip, I'm actually going to go ahead and change out the filter. You guys behave, okay? It looks so good, I'm so excited. We replaced the filter. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why I always do that. CJ is the way to go. CJ, Chem title best filter ever the other one it just it rattled too much it just it was so loud and annoying so i'm gonna switch it out to this one this one is self-priming so if the lights were ever to go out it would actually start on its own this one wouldn't much better filter i love this filter i've had it before we're gonna go ahead and rinse this stuff out this one's rated up to 35 gallons oh there go there goes my carbon got adjustable flow so this is the highest setting this is the lowest. It's pretty much like a just a trickle there, which is awesome. I was able to cut this and it actually fits very snugly now. We're gonna go ahead and take our fish out and we're gonna drop them in here. Come here, bud. Oh, goodness. You're wriggly, fella. Here we go. <laughs> The clownfish obviously are open swimmers. The orchid is kind of living in the sands and underneath the rock a little bit, which is different. I didn't know that they did that. Everybody woke up fine. Look at this guy, this guy. He's creating a little tunnel. He's coming out. He's spitting out sand. He's feeling more comfortable today and he's out and about. Nobody's pecked at each other, so that's good. Everybody's getting along. We finally got life in the tank, yay! I named the orchid Dottie back Bob the Builder, the bullet hole snowflake clownfish Bonnie and Clyde, for obvious reasons. Bullet. Another reason why I wanted to change the filter is because my OCD, <laughs> the other one, so it's a clear plastic whitish kind of color and you could see it like it was very obvious in the back of the tank as you can see I added the, the black background there on the tank. This one blends in really nicely with the background. Next week we add corals. We got some corals coming in next week. But stay tuned for the adventure. The adventure continues. There's a lot still going on with the tank and a lot of new developments that you want to stick around for. I do hope that the next videos will be a little bit more consistent. I know I've been uploading like once every couple of weeks or so, but I'm going to try to upload weekly for you guys. Thanks for stopping in. Until next time guys remember to just keep swimming and i will see you in the next video bye just keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming 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 what do we do we swim to my future self if and when i'm creating a new tank build because there will be other tanks I, I already know it just go with the sea chem title filter just just do it bye